Action. All right, here, step back a little bit. Okay, here we go. gonna have to get this thing totally dialed in this be good. in in horizon mode obviously it does great because it's self-leveling um, but I want to get it perfectly dialed in for manual mode as well because while I'm flying FPV I'm gonna want to do stuff like that This thing looks like it'll fly upside down pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, it flies upside down great. It's not the first time flying a, a, a pusher prop plane upside down? Uh, yeah. I don't think I flew the other one upside down. First time. That does great. Uh, all right, a little dizzy now. <laughs> I'm just stoked that we have such a, like a, it's kind of a light flying plane. It, it, it'll fly really slow. Um, it, it, it does so good with uh, dual batteries up front. Um, it was the right choice uh, adding some some wing area to this thing. It just floats so nicely. I think we have 584 square inches of wing area on this thing, which is pretty good. Um, I believe we're at about 1,700 grams with both batteries up front, which is awesome because they're big 3,300 milliamp batteries. Uh, and center of gravity is just about perfect a little on the nose heavy side but not much uh, the center of gravity is probably forward about uh, a quarter inch maybe three eighths of an inch it's a little forward but that's good I'd rather be a little forward than too far tail heavy oh man this thing's just gonna do awesome bring this thing up a little bit. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Oh man. Oh, it's so awesome. All right, let's cut throttle. Cut throttle and we're in horizon mode. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna coast down a little bit and see how it does. Oh man, I have a feeling this thing's gonna be able to stay up for a while. Especially if we gain some airspeed. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be great. You get get some good altitude and cut throttle and just drift. We're gonna be able to make these flights even longer. <laughs> Look at it; it's just awesome. I think it looks so cool in the sky. Dang, this thing's gonna stay up for a while. I wasn't even going up that high. I wasn't even really trying. Just figured, we'll just see what happens. But uh, I guess we should have put a counter on to see how long we've been uh, coasting with no throttle. Uh, we don't have a folding prop on here, but we will. Uh, it's just the, the the 13 by 6 by 5 was so efficient on Blue Thunder that I figured I'd just do the same thing on this. But I do have. Uh, How's the folding prop going to work? Is it going to go backwards, like when it yep. folds? Yeah, yeah, it'll fold backwards, so it'll uh, oh. it'll be really good for stuff like this. 
I believe the prop is still turning. Maybe not. I haven't. Uh, no. Yeah, let me zoom in and see. I think it is stopped. Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I can't see it moving on the camera. I don't. Well, I don't think I see it moving. It it's looks like it's like go it I looks like it's set gone. Up so that um, oh no, it's not moving. Look at that. See, it stopped. It's hard to see. Probably can't see it on camera, but the prop isn't moving. So I have it set up in iNav to stop the propeller uh, at um, at zero throttle. So we'll get uh, we'll be able to coast this thing with no drag. Look at that. And it's working perfectly. Look at how long we've been coming down. And Girl. so here, I'm gonna see if I can go by and get it on camera that the the prop isn't moving. And then I'll give it some throttle. You can see the prop hanging down right there. I wonder how long you can fly. Yeah, look, it's still. Look at that thing. Uh, it's so awesome. Check it out. And throttle it up. <laughs> Dang, that was, a, that was a while, wasn't it? Yeah, it was at least like two minutes, that three was minutes. Wow, it was coming down for a long time. I love that uh, it stopped the, stopped the prop just like I wanted it to. Um, so I'll probably have a video in the future talking about iNav. Uh, I'm a newbie. This is the first time I've messed with it. And I'm not going to lie. It was a nightmare uh, doing all the updates and getting this thing to this stage just to, for the test flight. But once um, once I got everything figured out and updated and all that, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Of course, this is only my second flight. But uh, once I got to the point where everything worked properly... It's pretty awesome. What's our flight time so far? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> six minutes. How much? Six minutes and okay. 35 seconds. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this thing's freaking awesome. I think when I go back up again and coast down again, that was pretty awesome. Okay, right, uh, okay, we're at six minutes and how long until you can't see it on camera? Uh, where is it? I can't find it. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, we are at seven minutes. Let's see how long it can coast for. Okay, that throttle? Yeah. We'll just say seven minutes is one. That way we can figure out how long. Okay, now I see it. Okay. Seven minutes and 16 seconds so far. So this is the kind of stuff we'll be doing when we're flying FPV. We'll be able to gain a good bit of altitude and just cut throttle and just fly and enjoy the scenery flying really nice and slow. You can tell this thing is moving pretty slow, uh, but with the wing area and the weight, this thing is able to fly slow really well. It's just, um, I haven't found the stall speed yet, but I think it's probably going to be around 30% throttle. Um, but just just cutting throttle and having it in horizon mode and just letting it do its thing like it's just no problem it just goes it's able to keep plenty of airspeed to just keep flying um and i'll find out exactly what this airspeed is which will just be some cool bit of information uh once i get the fpv set up on there um i have the o uh the osd all set up so i'll see everything i need to see in the goggles including uh speed and it'll just be interesting to know how fast this thing is flying at zero throttle as it's slowly coasting down in horizon mode uh it's just be interesting to know it's been uh flying without throttle for two minutes and 36 seconds uh how long so far uh two minutes and 39 seconds but two minutes at zero throttle yeah oh my gosh that's... it is at eight uh eight minutes but we started this is kind the of most throttle efficient at seven plane minutes, i've ever built right if that's at seven. the case because I remember having Blue Thunder up. It, it'll drift down for a little while, but I think it would have been down by now. It would have been down like a minute ago. Because um, I think I've done a video about it, or at least part of a video, cutting throttle. But look at this thing. It's just... Still it's going. We're going. at three minutes now. I think that's awesome. That means that we're really going to be able to uh, get a lot of fly time out of this. Because if we, if we just jet up, use a little bit of energy jetting up, and just coast down a long ways... We should be able to fly quite a long ways and quite a long time without chewing up the battery. And I love that the prop stopped. It's just causing zero drag or at least minimal drag with that prop just straight up and down like that. Okay, what's our what's our fly time so far? Nine minutes and 39 seconds. And how long have we been drifting? 
like three minutes about almost four minutes now dude that is freaking amazing <clears throat> let's see i bet you, we'll we'll get it to four minutes look at that just no no touching yeah almost four minutes here not touching the sticks or nothing you can see how slow it is look at that okay four minutes now all right now we got throttle up ah, dang that so we could probably drift down if we got high up enough like five minutes or six oh, yeah. minutes easily oh uh, we could probably drift longer than that um uh, dang so that well, was four minutes drifting down without throttle that is pretty amazing and we're not sure the altitude that's probably like about 400 feet uh or so pretty dang good yeah this thing is awesome it's everything i wanted it to be well we're gonna go ahead and get ready to land and we're gonna end it here because we don't want to bore you guys with this long flight but I know we're excited about having this awesome pusher V-tail up in the air and all of the cool stuff that comes with it, the GPS and the, the navigation, the fail safe, the return to home, all the cool stuff that comes with iNav and having a flight controller, um, I'm super stoked about. And it's just going to elevate our FPV experience. So we're going to cut it here and we'll see you guys in the next one.